Hey guys, Anthony here with a tabletop review of my new Blackhawk Diversion Carry Sling Pack that you see right here. I'll give you a few stats on this pack and then we'll show you uh, the pockets, uh, the zippers, um, and how it uh, fits and the reason why I have something like this or the reason why you'd want to carry something like this. First of all, it's 13 and a quarter inches long, seven and a half inches width, three and a quarter inches uh, deep. Uh, you can see, so it's not very big, but it's very discreet and the color schemes that it comes in, this happens to be a gray and a blue. I think there's also a black and a red. Um, it just blends in very well. Um, so it's small, discreet. It can conceal a weapon. It has a you know, hook and loop inside with a built-in holster that it comes with that you could configure for a handgun if you so desire. Uh, the bag does not draw attention. The primary reason I use it, I can use it for concealed carry, but I use it for uh, the gym. I need uh, many gyms, you're not allowed to bring a backpack in or a uh, large bag. And so in order for me to carry some small essentials, my iPod, my phone, uh, keys, wallet, things of that nature, um, this bag and is allowed in the gym that I work out in. It's a single shoulder sling pack or they also allow those spaghetti string backpacks that you see uh, a lot of athletes carry. Uh, this is made of 420 uh, denier velocity nylon they call it. Very nice uh, material. It's ambidextrous uh, so you can uh, switch your shoulder strap to walk from one side to the other. So I have it uh, configured uh, to carry on my left shoulder or across the left side of my body because a lot of times uh, I'm righty and a lot of times I have items on my right hip I don't want uh, to be disturbed. Uh, it's got a web carry handle that you can see here. I happen to have, a, this doesn't come with it, but I have a little uh, survival pod on here that I'll do a review on soon. I just clipped it onto the handle, so it's very convenient. Grab handle, uh, padded shoulder sling. It's got this little uh, like sticky thin padding here that kind of grips to your shoulder when you have it. You got two striped molly webbing right on your shoulder, so you could put a couple of the pouches or or zip tie something to this if you wanted to. Um, I don't have anything on it now. Uh, it's padded back. It's comfortable. It's not too thick padding, but it's comfortable. Uh, again, you're not going to load this out. It's not real heavy. And, um, and so that's a comfortable uh, back pocket. It's got the internal loop panel, like I said, we'll show you. And one thing I want to point out is the zipper pulls. You notice uh, all the zipper pulls on here. Number one, they're extended, so you could grab them real easy. You know, just put my thumb through it here just to show you. And uh, there, there's this like hard rubber uh, material that goes around the. It's almost like a paracord type material here, nylon cord. Um, and so you could grab these and and pull them back real easy and real ergonomic. So. That's one good thing about this pouch. And then, you know, of course, on the bottom zipper, it's ambidextrous. You have two zippers here. And then you could access that same pocket from this side, depending on what, what shoulder you're carrying this on. So we'll be back and we'll get into uh, what, what I have in these pockets. And I'll show you what they look like. Okay. First and foremost, this pocket here, it's kind of on a 45 degree angle. It's not really big, but I found that for my Goal Zero charging pack, which I use almost every day, it fits very convenient. And again, this Goal Zero, here it is in the palm of my hand, uh, it easily slides into this pocket and zips up. So again, you could put your wallet in here. This will fit a, definitely fit a wallet. Um, 
keys, uh, some, some other items, but my goal zero, uh, guide 10 plus, charging packet, you've seen reviews on my website, I use this to charge my uh, cell phones, my iPhone and my other cell phone that I carry and also my iPod. And so that rides in that pocket. The next pocket is a, like a general purpose pocket and this is the pocket that I use uh, primarily on a daily basis. Right now you can see there's a few uh, nylon pockets here. One of them I have my iPhone in. The other and they're Velcro, have Velcro tabs, so you could whatever you put in here, you could tab it down. And then in the, there's a key lanyard for your keys. I have a couple of power cords in here, one of my headphone cords and a, a cord for my uh, iPhone. And then I have my iPod in there. And so on a daily basis, uh, or if I go to the gym, I have what I need. Um, I have my phone, my keys, my wallet on me in the gym instead of in my locker. Okay, so that's your, your front angled pocket, your front uh, utility compartment, let's call it. And then your larger pocket that you could access either right or left handed, ambidextrous, like I said before. You got dual zippers here, one on this end, one on this end, so you can configure them however you want to grip the bag. Uh, once you open that pocket, there's a mesh. If you could see it here, but there's a mesh uh, netting pocket that you could put items in. I don't have anything in here right now. Uh, and again, you could access this. There's a zipper on each side of this mesh. And then here's your concealed carry holster right here. It's Velcroed in place and it's removable or customizable uh, for the tilt that you want your uh, weapon at. It's got a little clip uh, to lock down uh, the weapon and hold it in place. And again, when I put the bag on, I'll show you how you access that. But basically, that's the uh, tabletop review of this bag. Um, it's a very good idea. I'm glad Blackhawk uh, thought of this. It's something that, uh, you know, we as preppers uh, can use every day. It doesn't really stand out, doesn't really draw attention. You could use it for, like I said, the gym, just getting around town if you're running into your car and, uh, you're leaving your car, you could take this, throw it over your shoulder, go in the grocery store, whatever, and some essential gear uh, that you can figure on your own will be in here uh, for you. So again, like I said, I've only have a few things on it. Uh, the survival pod is one of them, which gives me some uh, uh, many options and one little um, keychain survival tool, if you will. And so let's uh, come back. I'll put this on and show you how to access the pockets while it's on. All right, guys, this is the pouch. Again, it's adjustable with this pull cord, so you can adjust it for your shoulder. Um, as you see, this is primarily the way I carry it every day, just slung over one shoulder, my left shoulder. Again, hangs down perfect. I can grab it. I could access the zippers, the compartments, and access my goods. Okay? Another way you can carry it is across the body like this. Okay? That's another way you can carry it. And again, it's fully adjustable. By pulling on this, I could let out some slack, and now it's fully adjusted for cross-body carry. And again, I could run with this, um, and it's more secure. No one's going to grab it uh, from you. And again, you have access to your strike 
panels here, your webbing uh, to put more gear, and if you wanted to access the pockets while uh, it's across your body, again, you can just fling it around, and I easily can get my iPhone, my cords, uh, whatever else I have in here, any other items, again, you configure it to your liking. Um, the pocket here, that angled pocket to grab my goal zero, there you go. Again, these zipper pulls really come in handy because you don't really have to go looking for them. They just happen to be right there. Um, and again, my concealed carry compartment. If I'm carrying on my left shoulder, my both zippers are going to be on the right side. Just like this. On the right side. And so now, I can pull the one zipper across. My firearm would be right in there. I would grab it and draw it. Or whatever other items I had in here. And then right back over your left side again. And again, it's ambidextrous if you're righty or lefty. Um, and I also got access to any other gear like my survival pod. Um, guys, this is a great little uh, bag. Again, I'm going to put the link to um, the specs to this. Um, this was a birthday gift from my daughter. We bought it locally. Um, it lists for about, with shipping, I think for about 45 bucks. Um, so you'll see it between 45 and 55 dollars. Uh, well worth, well worth it. Blends in. I'd highly recommend it. Again, I'm using it every day for the gym, but I have options, and that's what I like in a pack. It's lightweight, and it doesn't draw a lot of attention, and it's very functional and usable. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments, and thanks for joining me. Anthony, signing off. Stay ready.